become more aware of the coronavirus effects around us. We find ourselves cleaning everything from the shopping cart to our phones. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido spoke with Made Pro on what to keep in mind if you're planning to give your place a wipe down. Daniela? That's right. Good morning. So as more of us are sheltering at home, it's normal that we're going to wipe down every square inch of the place that we live in. So we spoke with the professionals to make sure that you know what to keep in mind if deep cleaning your house is something that you haven't done before on your own. As we become more aware of the germs around us, we find ourselves doing a lot of this. Since many of us have been focused on wiping those germs from our lives, why not start at home? 23ABC spoke to the experts for advice. We are what we would consider a professional cleaning service. We focus on cleaning residential homes and commercial buildings primarily. According to Made Pro, the best disinfectants for COVID-19 are alcohol, bleach, and hydrogen peroxide. Ultimately, the most effective is going to be some type of dilute of that straight with water. You're gonna, that's very potent, right? During this time, many of us are putting our health first, making sure we're doing anything possible to protect ourselves from exposure to the virus. Therefore, it's a good time to wipe, but also remember to sanitize and disinfect. Let's just say pledge. If you're using pledge on your wood, you know, 97% on average is what's gonna be killed as far as germs, bacteria, and you're removing dirt, uh, you know, or grime from that surface. Sanitizing brings that percentage up to 99.9% and disinfecting brings that percentage up to 99.999%. So it seems like a small difference. In reality, it is a big difference. While cleaning, it's important to keep cross-contamination between rooms in mind by swapping wash rags and gloves throughout the process. So color, color coding towels is something that we do, and that's just a, a way for us to know where we've been. So we don't cross-contaminate, so we use white towels in the bathrooms and we use blue, dark blue towels in the kitchen. And lastly, those hard-to-remember places. Items that get overlooked are going to be doorknobs. I mean, how many times have you thought about cleaning your front doorknob? Um, I know, you know, I don't think about that a lot, but you know, or your garage door entrance to your home. Those are areas that should be cleaned probably more than uh, most areas. Uh, cabinet fronts, right? Your refrigerator door handles, your light plates and light switches, uh, if you, you know, are using those often. Those are things that our hands are constantly touching and we need to clean those probably more frequently than any other area. So remembering to use those color-coded towels as well as remembering to sanitize and disinfect after wiping something down can make a huge difference in making sure that those germs are off the surfaces in your home. And we're going to have this all on our website, turn to 23com Live in Bakersfield, I'm Daniela Garrido, 23ABC News, connecting you.